Hi, and welcome to this brief tutorial introducing you to the ARDA. If you're looking for statistics and data about religion around the world, the ARDA, or Association of Religion Data Archives, is a great resource. This free website provides access to quick statistics and data sets on religion in America and internationally. It contains information from hundreds of surveys covering such topics as religious beliefs, congregational membership data, geographic profiles, and much more. You can use this website to find most of your religious statistics or data needs. Let me show you just a few of the great features of the ARDA. First we'll need to go to www.thearda.com. As I mentioned earlier, we can find geographic profiles about religion on this website. From the top toolbar, simply scroll over International and you'll see we have options to look at national or regional profiles as well as the option to compare the two. If I was interested in learning more about religion in Costa Rica, for example, I could click National Profiles and then select Costa Rica from this list. As you'll see, the ARDA gives me an overview of Costa Rica, including the population as well as a breakdown of religious groups in the area. From this toolbar, I can find more information, such as the number of adherents. Whenever I'm looking at this website, it is important to scroll towards the bottom of each page. Here you will find what survey or data set the information came from, and they also provide helpful information about the survey, such as explaining definitions of terms or how often the survey is conducted. Now that I've looked at Costa Rica, let's go back to the top and broaden our scope to Central America. This time I'll click Regional Profiles, then Central America. You'll see we're given most of the same options, but it's also nice that I can browse other countries in this region from this page. Let's try comparing regions now. Back to the top international tab, I'm going to choose Compare Regions. Keep in mind that you'll also have the option to compare nations if you're interested. From this page, I can compare up to eight regions. Let's see how Central America compares to North America. The ARDA gives me this great side-by-side -side comparison of the two regions, which can save me some time from navigating back and forth between profiles. Another awesome feature of this website is the collection of U.S. congregational membership data. From this tab, I can find reports about cities or even specific zip codes. I can look at maps of congregations, and I can build a community profile. Let's search Greensboro, North Carolina, and see our local congregational membership statistics. As you'll notice, I'm actually giving countywide information on Guilford County. If I scroll to the bottom, I'll learn that this information came from a survey of states and counties. Remember to look carefully at your sources to make sure you understand how the data was collected, if the figures you're given are in units, or any other explanations that can help you to better understand the information you find here. Now that I know I'm going to find countywide statistics, I can look at the latest information and learn about the makeup of Guilford County. If you're ever unsure about the various religious bodies or traditions, you can click their names and the ARDA will give you an overview, some history, and even link to YouTube videos showcasing services from these groups. So not only can I find statistics and data from this website, it's even helpful when I want to learn more about religion. One of the last features of the ARDA that I think you'll like to use in your research is their Quick Stats tab. This is helpful when I want to know about congregations or religious groups, but I can also find statistics about religious beliefs, attitudes, behaviors, and much more. Let's browse religious beliefs about evil, for example. I want to know how many people believe in the concept of hell. 
From the Baylor Religion Survey of 2007, I can see that 53% believe there is absolutely a hell, while only 11.1% believe there absolutely is not a hell. Let's break this information even more in depth by clicking the Pattern tab. And I can see these concepts now in relation to other surveyed demographics such as age, education, and religion. Now that I've showed you how to navigate some of the features of this website, keep in mind that the ARDA does have a search feature if you're not sure where to begin your research. I hope this introduction to ARDA helps you find any statistics or data sets about religion that you need. As always, if you need any help with your research, remember to ask us at Jackson Library.